This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, April 26th, through this coming Sunday, May 2nd, 2021. So we're starting this week today with the full moon in Scorpio. It's Monday, April 26th. This is a pink supermoon, our first supermoon of the year. And being in Scorpio, it's bringing us intense energy for change. Full moon energy in all, at all times gives us insight into how we wish to create fulfillment in our lives, what we wish to be enjoying now, and how to allow positive changes. But this particular Scorpio energy... <laughs> With the aspects for the moon, oh, to all these other planets, means emotions have been fueled and we're seeking emotional outlets. So tension has been created and things are happening. For most of us, these changes have been whispering in our ears and whispering in our hearts for months. But we may have been resisting or not paying attention. So the Scorpio full moon energy demands that we take action that's going to allow positive change for us. No more complacency, no more procrastination, no more trying to not pay attention. And you know what? Change is a good thing. I know we resist change because we can't see outcomes. And before change happens, we're just, we just don't trust in those outcomes. But the universe is nudging you along and encouraging choices and decisions that will give you much needed good changes. You'll be so much happier when you allow this positive change that's been building in your life. And you know one thing about life, <laughs> and that's change is guaranteed. So it's time to make change your ally. Embrace. Oh, embrace all that beckons you forward to new vistas, to better outcomes, all increasing your security, your prosperity, your health and your wealth of a very high quality life. And this is profound transformation. The things that no longer work for us or we no longer have use for can now begin to nourish us as we release them. We're able to clear debris from our lives while welcoming in new, fresh energy of growth and delightful experience. And energy is this amazing thing that never disappears. Instead, it changes Form. So allow something that isn't working for you to morph and transform into a new form of energy. One that's enriching and benefits you and who you are now versus who you were before. No more clinging to old ideas. No more being stuck in old ways of doing things. No more hanging on to things you've outgrown or no longer need. No more denying who you're ready to become because this is your, your transformation. This is your metamorphosis. You've been dreaming of allowing all the goodness into your life and this week's full moon is exactly what you need. And you know, your life has so much meaning. Your soul has a plan. You came here equipped with all you need for success and you're surrounded by loving guidance, all to facilitate your best life experience possible. And I know sometimes we lose sight of our compass and we need answers and clarity. And that's why I'm here. I'm here for you and I can give you a reading that's gonna connect you to your divine base and to your divine plan. You don't need to wait any longer to get the connection you need to assist in your best transformation. It's all available to you. And all the information for your reading is on my website, spiritpathways.net. All right, Scorpio, 
full moon energy. What cards are we coming for this week? Nine cards for Scorpio. Full moon energy. It's Monday. It's the full moon. Just laying out the energy. Pulling us through this week. Allowing your positive change. No more just waiting for other things to happen. Let's get the energy going here. All right, let's see what we've got. <laughs> I have to laugh. Yes, the first card. Let's embark on your journey. All right, I'm going to lay these out. Lay these out and give you all the meanings and the reading all flowing. Fantastic. Okay. The Six of Swords. Yes, embarking on your energy. And if you go back to last week and the cards that we had last week, they were all about the details. And that's what these swords in this boat stand for. They stand for the details of actually what's holding you back. Actually, the thoughts and the ideas and the habits and the patterns that you keep repeating that are just getting in your way, that are preventing you from embarking on your journey. These swords have to go overboard. <laughs> they can't go on the journey with you. They have to be left behind. So please pay attention to any thoughts or ideas that you have that are holding you back. This isn't about anyone else. It's just about you. So what are the things? What are the fears? What are the, where are you hesitant? Where are you worried? Where are you resisting change? Ah, that word, resistance. You've got to have faith, you've got to have trust, and you've got to surrender that the universe has a better plan for you, so you don't need to analyze it, and you don't need to overthink it. You need to chuck those ideas overboard and get on with this journey, because where you're going is calm and amazing and wonderful and beneficial and fulfills all that you need in your life right now. The King of Cups to me is the perfect Scorpio full moon card. All this water, <laughs> all this emotion. Ah, oh, but the king, he's outcomes. So he says the emotions are going to come into alignment. The emotions are going to open your heart and they're going to allow you to lay the path and make the changes and embark on the journey and leave all those thoughts and ideas that have been holding you back behind you to get the outcomes that you want. He's the outcome of success. Success in love, success in your spiritual path, success in creativity, success with your emotional life. Very, very, very important. And then this card reminds you that what you do, you do very, very well. The Three of Pentacles. You've created something professionally and you are respected and admired for it. So keep doing that thing. Keep doing the thing where that the outer world can appreciate you for. It can be artistic, creative, inspired. It can be business. It can be entrepreneurship. It can be the book you write or just whatever it is that you want to put out into the world. This is showing you you're going to be successful with it and people are going to appreciate it and recognize it and participate in it with it. So what are the ideas that you've been having? This Seven of Pentacles is all the ideas, all the things that you've been thinking about that you want to create in your life. It can be as simple as changing your daily routine to as fabulous as starting a new business. These ideas are at all stages of development, and some you're just going to drop and, and not follow, and some you're going to follow through to the absolute end and the absolute peak and promise of amazingness. So yes, pay attention to your ideas. They are never random. The universe, 
<laughs> the universe doesn't fill you with ideas that you're never ever going to do or that you're not attracted to. Because what would be the point of that? Your ideas are important because they are aligned to your soul yearnings. And those soul yearnings define your life purpose, your life mission, your life passion. And it all begins with the simplest and smallest of ideas. So allow those to flourish for you. Participate with them. The center card in the middle is judgment. I actually call this card Ascension because that's what it's about. This Archangel is blowing the trumpet and calling these people forth out of their darkness, out of the dark little boxes that they've been in that have been limiting them, out of someone else's paradigm, out of not understanding or the shadow side. This is about Ascension, which means rising up. As ascending with an A, higher vibrational alignment. And that's exactly what we're all seeking. Really, that's just simply the absolute definition of all we want in our lives. We want higher vibrational alignment. Because in that higher vibrational alignment, there's less chaos, there's less ego, there's less denial, there's less resistance. And things are flowing, things are happening. Things that are in alignment with our hearts and what we want to enjoy. So work upon your highest thoughts, which have to do with gratitude and what you're really happy about in your life. The alignment to what makes you laugh and smile and makes your heart sing. That's all you need to focus on. Everything else is stuck down in this dark box and that's nothing's happening down there. This alignment brings you personal amazingness, <laughs> personal outcomes of prosperity and health and wealth and lifestyle. Oh, and you're just all the things you want to enjoy. This is you in your garden, enjoying all the reaping all the benefits and enjoying all the goodness of everything that you've created. This is telling you everything that you've invested in. Wow, it really comes to fruition. It really blossoms in your life and makes you profoundly and astoundingly happy. And that's very important for you to know. So just embrace this energy. Do not go back to giving your power away. Do not feel that other people are conspiring against you. Do not feel you need someone else to tell you how to do something. Do not feel that your ideas are vulnerable and someone's going to take them and you can't share anything because someone else is going to steal it. Just honor yourself. Know that you're amazing and you kind of just don't care what everyone else thinks because you're going to make all of the choices and all of the decisions that are absolutely best for you and your alignment and what's in your heart. And the Wheel of Fortune says, yes, <laughs> yes, your spirit guides and your angels and all your amazing helpers, they've heard your prayers. They've heard them and they're, they're acting upon them. There are things happening behind the scenes that maybe you're not seeing yet, but momentum has been building. The wheel is turning. You're learning and researching and getting the information that you need to lead you to exactly the absolute ultimate of happiness and goodness and all that you want to be experiencing in your life. It's happening. The wheels are turning. Don't give up, but also don't be impulsive. Don't leap into something. The Scorpio oh, full moon with all the emotional changes and realignments is teaching you how to pay better attention to your heart, better attention to what it is that you truly are really trying to create. Because in each choice and each decision and each step that we take, our path is unfolding. Each one of those lays a stepping stone in the path of our lives. And you are creating an amazing journey. Your life journey is incredible. You have so much to be proud of. 
And so don't just leap just to create change for the sake of change, because then we're going to have to backstep and, and recreate it. No, very, very mindfully do your research, get the intelligence, get the wisdom, get the knowledge, <clears throat> get all the information you need. So when you allow change, it's absolute highest vibrational alignment, amazing change. That's exactly where you want to be in this garden, enjoying all the goodness of your higher vibrational alignment. So I'm here. I've got openings all week. I can't wait to connect with you. All the information, again, is on my website, spiritpathways.net. Have a reading. Let's clear the energy. Let's glitch you into alignment to help you move forward for your greatest happiness. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.